All right, you guys, today I have probably the most difficult challenge I've ever done. I've done a few Bob Rosses already. Today, I'm going to paint a Bob Ross. This is Snowy Morn, season 19, episode four, and I'm going to try and paint it without pausing the video. I'm kind of nervous about it. I feel like my heart beats already fast, just like preparing for, for how rough this is gonna go. <sighs> Deep breaths. So I've got all my paint stuff set out here on the table. I've got one, two, three, six different paint brushes, six different palette knives. I've got all of my colors laid out. I am gonna use acrylics, so I'm not gonna use oils like Bob. But I don't have the paints even on the palette yet. So once I start the video, I'm just gonna start putting paint on the palette that I think he's gonna use. If he chooses one that I didn't have on there, I'm just gonna have to put it on there real quick and, and just go for it. So buckle up. Here we go. Subtle, Bob. Bob says he knows I can do it though, so that's reassuring. We're 11 minutes in. So far, I'm caught up. Doesn't look great. It's 
some white in here and he's just like wisping it back and forth. Mine is looking very gray because it's mixing with everything. I know Bob, I'm trying here. People pick up the brush and they just do marvelous things, even if they've never painted before. If any of you watching are down on yourselves because you can't paint a Bob Ross like Bob Ross, join the club. We're officially halfway. Just going like. Be honest, guys, that's not the worst tree I've ever done. So we've got in here. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Here. Looks like I'm pretty much covering up that one I did before. Maybe that's a good thing. Let's make these more. I think these need to be a little darker in the background here. Maybe with some texture. Make them look a little better. Oh, he's putting way more trees in. Falling behind. trees are in here. Thank you, Bob. Okay, my alarm went off. Okay, more trees. to mid hall oh, shoot he's starting to add like grass now oh okay okay way behind way behind you guys I'm just gonna add some some of these trees are very dead looking that might just have to be how it is I'm just gonna try and create some texture We only have seven minutes left. What is he doing with the palette knife? Did I add any more dark? More dark, okay. He's adding a cabin? There's six minutes left. Ah! Oh my gosh, and he's using a palette knife. Straight down, I don't have enough paint. Oh. oh, and I just got paint on my painting where I didn't want it. This was going well until we started adding a cabin. He do this so fast. Okay. 
Or white. Or snow. How is he doing this? This side of the cabin. Oh, and he's adding a tree to the side of the cabin now. Okay, I'm way behind. Way behind. Way behind. He's got these going across. door. We're going to pretend that that looks like a door. Okay, we need way more snow on the top. This roof. What is he adding down here? I officially have 90 seconds. To finish this, I need a lot more white. He's got another tree. He's got another. There's land over here. There's another tree in there. I don't have time to make that tree. There we go. Oh, that's a tree. We'll pretend. How is he doing this? This tree's gonna be blue. How? How, Bob? How is this happening? I need more snow. Okay, video's not over for 40 seconds. I can paint while he talks. Painting while he talks. Oh, end credits now. End credits. We'll pretend that's a shadow of some kind. Still got time. Still got 11 seconds. sweating. Heart rate is, oh, only 76. That's, that's better than I thought. Okay. Well, overall, for the challenge being what it was, not able to pause whatsoever, I think I kept up with them pretty good. Towards the end there is where it got kind of crazy. As soon as he added that cabin, like I don't know how, there were six minutes left and I thought I was like going to be able to coast out the end of this painting with no problems. And then he goes, let's just add a little cabin in here. I think we got time. It was six minutes and he did it with a palette knife. And it, uh, so my cabin is like, it, it, it looks, it's the shape of a cabin. So that's good. But then I tried to add snow on the top and it looks, it's, it's gross snow. It's like when you get slush, but the trees in the back, I'm just gonna say, I feel like those turned out okay. The ones further away look like they're further away very yellow sky which I guess is okay and the snow looks all right it's a little a little more gray up in this middle part which I think is right because it's supposed to look like it's in shadow a little bit clearly this was like with 10 seconds left this blue tree right here I had to make a quick decision because I had blue on the palette still and I didn't have like a, a black or a brown left, but by the time I would have put that on the palette, my time would have been up. Painting in 27 minutes. 
How does he do this? I'm still out of breath. That's only a little bit sad, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun, even though it was stressful. It was a good kind of stress. I urge you to try something like this without expecting it to come out perfect, because it's not, but it's gonna be fun and you'll get a fun product out of it. You'll be able to look back and, and have that memory of like, oh, remember when I painted this? That was kind of a, a fun, crazy thing to do. That's how I look back on all these Bob Rosses. They're not, they're not masterpieces by any means, but, but I like it, it was fun. That's what art's about, right? Thank you, Bob. Should we get some parting words from this, Bob? I learned from it, it's not a failure. I learned from this. I learned that I can't paint in 27 minutes like Bob Ross. But it can turn out okay. This is very okay. Thanks for watching, see you later.